Ethanol is the most abused recreational drug in the United States and use typically begins during adolescence. In preclinical studies, ethanol reward is examined using the condition place preference CPP paradigm. There are few studies on ethanol induced CPP using adolescent rats, which often show inconsistencies in the preference for ethanol. It is likely that ethanol induced CPP varies in adolescent rats because of sex and age related differences. In experiments one and two, we hypothesized that sex differences in ethanol induced CPP would emerge across adolescents. And in experiment three, we hypothesized that low doses of ethanol are necessary for adolescent male rats to demonstrate a preference. The CPP paradigm was used to examine ethanol preference by pairing injections of ethanol to a specific side of the CPP chamber through conditioning. Our data is analyzed through a composing a preference score, which is the amount of time spent in the ethanol paired side during post conditioning minus the amount of time spent in the ethanol paired side during pre conditioning. As seen on the graphs, the preference score is on the y axis and the various doses of ethanol are on the x axis for each experiment. For experiment one, we saw that peria adolescent rats, PD32, showed significant ethanol preference for the 2.0 dose. For experiment two, adolescent male rats, PD40, only demonstrated ethanol preference at the 0.5 dose of ethanol, while adolescent female rats continued to show a preference at the 2.0 high ethanol dose. In experiment three, adolescent male rats demonstrated ethanol-induced CPP with even lower doses of ethanol at 0.0625 and 0.125 grams per kilogram. Our results suggest that there are no apparent sex differences influencing ethanol preference during peri-adolescence, but these sex differences do emerge during adolescence. Male adolescent rats seem to shift their preference to lower doses of ethanol, which suggests that low doses of ethanol, at least in males, are necessary to produce ethanol-induced CPP in adolescent rats. Thank you.